Okay, here's a Miss Craftsman, 1990, 42 inch lawnmower deck on it. And I got it way up in the tree, tied to a, a limb, coming down with a chain. And I got a tunnel on on the back of it, and I got it standing up almost on his nose. On his nose, and this this uh, give me good access to that rain, and I don't have to do nothing but just jack it up with a tumble on with the chain that I got right here. And, uh, and I hook it, hook it right down on the back of the tractor where that hole is, where you hook your little trailer to or something. And of course, this is a uh, Left side, and this is the right side, and this right here is where uh, put the the hole in the axle. Right here, right here is where I put the hole in the axle. I drilled it with a small bit, and I got a screw a little bit bigger than the bit, which is about like an eighth of an inch. Even I mean, yeah, about an eighth of an inch, or even smaller. It's just a little bitty hole in there. And I run the drill in there just far enough, real lightly, drill real slow and easy, and so I can tell when it come on the inside, then I'll stop. Pull the drill back out, and uh, I checked it to see if it was all the way through. I stuck a little straw or something through there at the time, and so if it was, so I got my oil cup, and uh, I'm gonna have another little snapshot on the oil cup and stuff, and I'll show you what I used to put it in that little hole with. And I put probably about, about a, I don't know, a quarter of a pint in there. But what I suggest on this axle like this, I drilled it where I figured it wasn't nothing gonna be hitting it. Right in there. Cause it, it's up over about halfway to axle. So it's got plenty of room for the fluid to settle down in here. And, and run them down in the pan and everything. And in other words, I want to make sure I had the hole up high enough that it wouldn't be in the fluid level all the time. And maybe somehow or another it could leak even if you got that uh, seal on your screw. So I wanted it up above the level, which I figured that's what it was right there where I got it. And you can tell by what part of the axle I put it in. I put it about halfway in the axle housing part of the transmission. And uh, that's what I did right there. And this is the easy way to do it. If you got a limb out in your yard on a tree, and uh, cause I got my pet tree that helps me. And I just put me a chain around the limb up there on the pet tree and hook my come along to it. And hey, man, we got it going on. We can just fix anything on here without having any problem. Just get the come along on it and pick it up and, and go to work. But this is what I wanted to show you so you can get a good good look at this. So it's real easy to do. Just get you a drill and all. I'll show you about the size of the drill and the screw with the oil cup. And that's all you need to put it in there and uh, get you some fluid in there because it didn't, it got so it was hesitate when I first crank it and it wouldn't go in gear. So I said, it's gotta be low in the fluid. So it pulled good after it sat there for just a little bit and run. So I put the fluid in and sure enough, it, the time you put it in gear, it, it's ready to go. So I want to pass this on to you if you got an old lawnmower like this, and don't throw it away. Doctor one like this might get two or three more years service. I might get 10 more years out of it, because it's neither and done. Hmm, about 20, about 20 years now. No, 20, more than that. I'm about 27 years. So this Cadillac and all along, just a little maintenance and a little pitting, that's all it needs. So you might try this, and I just want to show y'all how I jacked it up with the come along. And go right back up to the limb on the tree up there, and right back down here and hook the come along. Hook <laughs> the come along onto the, onto the, uh, the uh, tractor itself, that hole right there where you hook on your trailers and stuff. And it is strong enough there, it won't bend it. You know? If it did, I was gonna put a board or something across that and help support it, but it works fine. So that, this way you can see underneath your tractor where you got the belts off and anything you need to grease on there before you put the 
deck back up under there. So you can see how everything operates, and you can stand on the ground over there on the driver's side and operate everything. And look at all of it on there and see if it's all functioning right. If it ain't, adjust it and everything. And put your lawnmower on there, your deck, and you're ready to go. This is all you need. Got the screw, got the drill bit, got the oil cup, and the drill. That's all you need.